Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Cognet. This is the Remarkable Muslims podcast with me, your host, Sheikh Zakir Hussain. My guest today is Brother Zaid Patel, the founder and managing director of iPlus TV, a 24 hour 7 Islamic TV channel that was established in 2015. Last year in December, iPlus stopped airing on television after successfully running for four years to the sadness of millions of its viewers, including myself and my family. In this episode of the Remarkable Muslims podcast, we'll discuss iPlus, how and why it was started, the people behind it, why it was shut down, and how it came back to life. Uh, Brother Zaid Patel, welcome to Remarkable Muslims podcast. How are you doing? Wa alaikum assalam rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. and I'm very happy to be with you here today. MashaAllah, it was a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you here. Uh, Brother Zaid, if I remember, uh, the first time I saw you, although we have never met in person, the first time I saw you was at an Islamic conference in Bangalore. This was in 2014. I think it was the Rahmatul Alameen uh, conference. This is where you announced the launch of I+. Um, so since its launch in 2015 uh, and until it was shut down last year, uh, I+, I+, has been a, has a remarkable journey, journey in these four years. I mean, millions of people, uh, viewers across India, their spiritual uh, growth story has been associated with I+, including my own family. Uh, so for, when it was shut down, I mean, it was a moment of sadness for all of us. Uh, can you tell us how, uh, what inspired you to start I+, an Islamic TV channel in the first place? Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, basically, we were working on the grassroots level uh, in spreading Islamic awareness since a long time. I've been an Islamic speaker and presenter since 1995. Okay. We started our Islamic Information Center in mm-hmm. 2004. Okay. And we were working. Uh, the TV channel was actually one of us, one small division where it was a dream we were pursuing. We never even thought that how soon this, uh, this dream will come true and how it will really reach the, the target audience. Okay. We started with, uh, with uh, a small studio, mm-hmm. which is, uh, you know, it was hardly 150 square feet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we started with a single camera. We started recording our initial programs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace, we identified an area at that time. Uh, at that time uh, in India, there was no channel which was officially registered with the government of India. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, I plus TV in 2015 managed to get license from the government of India. Okay. And that was uh, the big thing. Alhamdulillah. We, Alhamdulillah. we started and uh, Alhamdulillah, we continued nonstop from April 2015 till December 2019. Okay. Uh, the reason for stopping telecast was actually we were not able to pay the satellite bills, which were pretty steep. Yeah. Uh, however, by Allah's grace, Alhamdulillah, we struggled in multiple ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the inspiration was the core thing was we could see all around Islam being misrepresented. Islamic yes. teachings not being presented the way they are in the original sources of Islam. And uh, we of, of late, of recent times, of recent years, you can say the last five years, increasingly we, we found that Islam and Muslims are being attacked by the media mm-hmm. and uh, have been direct, uh, mis- there's been direct misinformation that's being spread. Uh, there is a hate uh, campaign going on. Uh, there's, uh, there are very open and hidden attempts to create this Islamophobia. That's so we cool. wanted to uh, come up with something and Allah gave us this. So we, Alhamdulillah, use this. We even widen the scope that Islam yeah. is not uh, only in the masjid. It uh, also teaches us how to do halal business. It also teaches us uh, how, to, how to run our families. And uh, it also teaches us how we can uh, spread the truth and serve the society, the country where we live in, spread yeah. correct, correct information. So we took that also on ourselves. When certain challenges came before the Ummah, like we find uh, uh, during... Uh, the NRCCA, yes. uh, I plus TV ran a series of programs bringing uh, yes. out the reality. That's true. I, I remember you, you actually went out to the protest site as well and you started interviewing yeah. people at the protest as well. It was, a, it was a beautiful thing to do, especially from an Islamic TV channel. Yes. Alhamdulillah. So we came up with the programs, even uh, different kind of documentaries on this subject. When we had uh, the issue where Muslims were targeted uh, uh, by and in the name of Corona, Yes. And we came up in, in, uh, and defended, alhamdulillah, how alhamdulillah. Muslims were being represented, misrepresented and how the hatred was being spread in this, in the name of uh, the, the disease. So yes. uh, we tried what best we could in given different situations, circumstances. If you yes. go to our IPLS TV app, you will find, mashallah, more than 150 different programs mm-hmm. and uh, on different themes for different audiences. True. Yes. 
I mean, uh, yeah, since the shutdown of the television channel, Lifeless uh, app and social media has been a source of information for me. Uh, so Alhamdulillah, the work has been uh, really good. Uh, Brazza, uh, can we talk a little about yourself? I mean, what you were doing? I mean, I know you said that uh, you used to run an Islamic information center, uh, but to start an Islamic TV channel, there's a lot of resources that's, uh, that gets involved, especially the financial resources. Um, so were you... Do you have a business background? I mean, how did you get started with this? I mean, what were you doing? What was your work like? And do you and what do you do even now? I mean, are you dependent on the revenue that I plus makes? Or do you have other source of income as well? Well, traditionally, I come from a business family and uh, by Allah bless me with uh, Alhamdulillah, something where uh, we had our businesses running Alhamdulillah. Uh, yes. We specialize in garments business in the okay. in. Uh, embroidered garments business right from childhood we I had a duty of attending to our shops okay and uh, alhamdulillah by, by Allah's grace that has been my source of income all along even now okay. all of these uh, 25 years mm-hmm. I Allah has told me that I've never taken a single month or salary or any such uh, thing this is service in the, in the way of Allah and alhamdulillah Allah has provided for my this I, I spend 5% of my time okay. on my business and 95% on the dawah and okay. yet uh, it is running alhamdulillah yeah i mean most people uh, <laughs> most people spend 100% but they still try to struggle so mashallah it's really nice to know that even with 5% you're being able to manage it mashallah alhamdulillah yeah alhamdulillah uh, so um, i plus did not start just by yourself right i mean there was a huge team involved in it i know that a lot of, there's a team involved yeah there are a lot of scholars there are a lot of guys who were, who got uh, into it uh, so Talk about how did you convince them to come together? Because, um, you know, even to set up a small team, uh, to convince different sorts of people based in different parts of India, for them to come together, it's quite a challenge. And here we are talking about Islamic scholars uh, with different viewpoints and everything else. How did you manage to get everyone together? And who, uh, can you also introduce who are the key people in your team who are behind I+. Basically, what happened uh, with I+, TV, is uh, uh, since we had the base of the Islamic center and mm-hmm. the activities and still we are running three Islamic centers in Mumbai mm-hmm. uh, based in Kurla, Andhiri and Sakinaka, Alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. We had a range of activities. We have our Islamic speakers and scholars. We have our monthly magazine and so on. Many activities, uh, including a charitable ambulance and clinic. So we had a base to mm-hmm. go ahead and build on. Uh, initially, uh, I, had ma- I had made uh, certain business plans. Basically, my vision was I plus TV should not depend on donation for survival. That was my mm-hmm. initial vision. Okay. I made a business plan. I mm-hmm. even tried uh, for the first two years. I plus TV was struggling with some revenue sources and trying to build on so that it becomes self-sustaining. Mm-hmm. We wanted that it should not be depending on donation, yeah. but in spite of the best efforts, the challenges which I, I was facing were very steep actually. Yeah. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we have a good team of a lot of brothers, a lot of scholars who have been supporting IPLUS TV and who've been actively and uh, periodically involved. Um, uh, I was heading the whole team. So we were struggling in trying to get the business the revenue sources working. The challenge was in India, advertising uh, yeah. for television, it works through uh, the ad agencies. Mm-hmm. And the ad agencies don't uh, understand our uh, Islam protocol. Huh? Yeah, we had yeah. Islamic protocol. So actually re- what we really needed was an Islamic ad agency, sure. which would work within Islamic limits so mm-hmm. that it could support media efforts like me, like I yeah. plus TV, like the Cognate and so on and on. Yeah. So what uh, we wanted was we will not take uh, haram advertisements or haram products. We won't have uh, obscenity on, on ads. We, we also wanted to avoid uh, music and so on. Sure. So uh, we, we, didn't, we could not find ad agencies who were ready to get uh, this. Now, mm-hmm. big corporates won't work with uh, individual TV channels. They have okay. one ad for 200 channels, maybe, okay. uh, which will be telecast from 200 different channels. Yeah. So how, how would it work? So we tried to even market it ourselves, do mm-hmm. it. It was, it was tough. We, ha- we face certain challenges. Still, we are struggling that uh, we find some way. Mm-hmm. Uh, after initial two years, I plus TV converted to a total donation based channel because okay. we wanted the effort to be saved. Okay. So my initial dream was had to be uh, could did not get full full fulfillment actually. Okay. Uh, the initial dream of trying to make it self-sustaining. Sure. Uh, we but however what was more important is to keep the effort 
the the TV channel had started. It had started reaching houses. Mm-hmm. And uh, since we had a vacuum, so you know, in India, uh, there have been around thirty six Hindu religious channels. Okay. To my surprise, we found when we did a survey, uh, early survey, and which mm-hmm. uh, in two thousand fifteen itself, we found more than twenty five, even Christian religious channels. Twenty five. Okay. But we we found that uh, the category of an Islamic channel in India. Mm-hmm. There was hardly anybody. There was yeah. uh, there was uh, uh, nobody available. Yeah. So when there was a vacuum, Alhamdulillah, uh, we uh, got ready acceptance from many cable operators since okay. they were looking for something which could satisfy their Muslim audiences. Yes, I mean there are a lot of for the Muslim news, audience. There are a lot of news channels which are in Urdu. Um, right. They have a couple of programs which are Islamic, but a twenty-four hour seven totally dedicated to Islam yeah. uh, Islamic content. Uh, of course, I mean I Plus was the first one. Of course, there are a lot of other channels which were registered outside of India. Which were also getting aid in India, but the one which was registered in India itself, I think I Plus was one of the first ones. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. T- talking about the revenues, I mean, this is something. I mean, the kind of uh, this is something I always used to, uh, you know, um, think about when I used to look at I Plus. Uh, also, something that we used to discuss with our friends as well, uh, because especially yeah. since you started asking for donations. Uh, you, uh, you know, advertisement uh, is a concern uh, since I also run a Muslim uh, community website and I know a lot of people who have been uh, running their own media initiatives. One of the biggest challenges for Muslim run media initiatives is, of course, advertisements. I see a lot of great projects coming, I mean, being shut down after a couple of years or at least the quality completely depleting after a couple of years. It's because of the lack of advertisement. So I think uh, it's time that, you know, all these channels and websites probably come together and probably establish, yeah. Yeah, establish at least a, a, an advertisement agency, which caters to the needs right. because, uh, you know, Muslims do have a separate need. I mean, we have our own protocols. We have a do's and don'ts. Yeah. Um, you know, that is something we need to think about. Uh, I think something like this has happened outside of India, especially in the West. I mean, it just caters, although it just caters to small websites, but it's still happening. But here in India, although we're a much larger Muslim community, but unfortunately, we do not see that happening. Uh, so maybe, uh, I mean, it's time for all of us to come, come together and think about it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it's, it, yeah, otherwise, it's very difficult to sustain, especially, uh, you know, now that the things are getting heated up and, uh, you know, well, it, it's really important. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, so let's also talk about the content, right? I mean, it's very interesting. I mean, it's Islam is, I mean, for a lot of people, uh, this is the idea that they have in mind. Okay. Islam is a religion or any religion is a religion, but how do you manage to get content for, to run 24 hours, seven year after year, you, you have to come up with fresh content. Mm-hmm. It's not like a news channel, right? I mean, you just, uh, there's something happening. You just keep relaying and then you add different things here. Islam is established religion. What I mean, how do you come up with content every time? Uh, do you have a okay. team which does this? Do you dis, uh, so? How does it work? Alhamdulillah, we have a team of forty people working. Alhamdulillah, okay. I plus TV full time, okay. and uh, we have a studio in Bombay in Sakinaka. Okay. Now, what the model which which we work on is uh, we invite different. Uh, we plan out first of all different programs. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a you know it's like a production it's like production line approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, the program first it's planned. In, on paper, mm-hmm. this is the program. We pass out speakers for the program, appropriate speakers. Yep. Then it goes on to scheduling. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. <coughs> uh, we invite speakers. We also have a guest room within our studio itself. Okay. So we we have the model that when a speaker comes from out of town, so he stays in the studio. Okay. And does recording take some rest? Does recording take some rest? Mm-hmm. And we prepare a full, mm-hmm. um, a full bank, a yeah. full uh, bank of, uh, of uh, his episodes, mm-hmm. which are telecast over several days. Okay. So this is one model. Some okay. of our programs are prepared according to situations. Like mm-hmm. we have a program called Khabarein Din Ki Roshni Mein, wherein uh, yeah. some news, uh, which is uh, uh, reflecting some teaching of Islam mm-hmm. in some manner. Mm-hmm. So we highlight that. So now that's uh, recorded spontaneously. Mm-hmm. Some discussions are recorded uh, this, at the same time in telecast. Yeah. But largely, we prepare banks of programs. Mm-hmm. So uh, what is being telecast now maybe has been recorded six months back. Okay. And uh, we've been working on it for maybe one year before okay. it comes on air. Mm-hmm. So uh, so that way we have, alhamdulillah, right now after, after uh, mashallah, right from 2015 till 2020, Mm-hmm. We have more than five and a half years now of programs. Because even okay. when we st- stopped on satellite, we didn't stop on our yeah. telecast. Sure. Hypers TV was working 24 by 7, 
through mm-hmm. the app, through okay. the website, through YouTube mm-hmm. Live, through Facebook Live. Yeah. And Alhamdulillah, now we are on 20 more social media platforms, mashallah. mashallah. So, uh, in addition to the satellite. Mm-hmm. So, we have uh, all of that uh, being prepared mm-hmm. and it goes on until it reaches the telecast stage. Yeah. Uh, and uh, even if we, we were to stop production for two months, we have mm-hmm. a lot of production there. Yeah. Uh, there, which is being edited under post production, which mm-hmm. can, which, uh, can come in. Okay, and uh, talking about the content itself to further talk about it, um, one of the things that we see, which is lack, um, I'm not sure if lacking is the correct word, but for the, uh, uh, for the lack of the la- uh, la- word, um, you know, we do not, uh, the lo- there's, uh, I mean, this is the age of Netflix and Hotstar and all this, right? I mean, there's so many mini series, yeah. documentaries and telefilms being made. Um, for example, Dirilish uh, Eratur, I mean, from Turkey, there's so many movies and these are phenomenon yeah. across the Muslim world. Not just the Muslim world, right. across the world, like even in countries like India, mm-hmm. it's been translated into multiple languages. Uh, why do we not see those kind of mini series or you know those kind of documentaries being aired on um, yeah. uh, I plus? Is it because uh, you do not consider those to be Islamic enough, or is there any kind of other restrictions that you face? Uh, because there are a lot of people who are watching it, and um, uh, these are Islamic. I mean, considered to be Islamic, uh, you know, content. So, what is your take on that? Do we, will we get to see those kind of content on I plus? Yeah, uh, we made a, a few short films and uh, Alhamdulillah, they've got uh, good views also from on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, as you know, all of these productions, they are, they require a lot of money. Yeah. And I plus TV is, uh, if you look at it, how much money uh, people spend, mm-hmm. uh, normal television channels spend in half an hour to one hour of yeah. their production and telecast. Mm-hmm. We spend that much for the whole month. Okay. We have a full month production being done okay. in what they, they spend in half an hour to one hour. Mm-hmm. That much, Alhamdulillah, we are running the full TV channel. Yeah. And uh, uh, we have uh, been a channel which has worked uh, with small resources and done big work uh, okay. uh, all, all along. And uh, these kind of things, they obviously take a lot of resources. Yeah. So we've definitely not had the resources that's for one to start. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, there are a lot of challenges Mm-hmm. in those kind of videos. There are a lot of challenges. There are certain compromises. Mm-hmm. And uh, to maintain certain limits, it's, it's tough. Yes, I know people get attracted to it. Yeah. The, the attraction which it has uh, for people is, is definitely higher. Mm-hmm. But there are a lot of uh, compromises uh, which are there. Like, you, you know, you'll, you'll need to build in some kind of uh, love angle and yeah. something else also to keep people engaged and so on. Yeah. So uh, we, we didn't want to go in for those kind of compromises. Mm-hmm. And uh, we felt that we will pass on something which is very reliable, authentic. Okay. And we wanted to do more interesting stuff here. In fact, we had many more ideas and which are going to come in the next few days. Okay. We've done a lot, a lot of new things, mm-hmm. which we keep on working on. Okay. So I don't feel uh, that uh, without fiction, there's no nothing which can make it very engaging and interesting. Yeah. Uh, I feel if we've not done enough, maybe we need to think of something more now. But, yeah. but there is something which is possible without going into trials. Yeah. Uh, also there. Yeah. Do you do you personally watch these kind of series? I mean, a lot of people watch it. <laughs> uh, as a survey, I, I have found out how it goes on and how how is it. And yes, okay. as a survey, I've, I've, I know no, no loyal audience. As, as <laughs> okay. Such. Okay. Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, the other thing is, I mean, um, so it was shut down last year. That I mean, I think that it was due to financial reasons. Um, so it's been uh, so it's been almost a year now. Um, so how did you get this uh, uh, thing back together? I mean, um, so did you get any kind of a funding, or how did this happen? Well, actually, we had a Alhamdulillah opportunity where yeah. we have come in uh, uh, a very uh, due to the support of some well wishers who were okay. feeling pained that mm-hmm. iPlus is not there on satellite anymore, yeah. and they worked out something due to which iPlus was able to come in. Yeah. Uh, so we don't have. Have, uh, big resources available even now okay. uh, but it was only because of some concerned individuals that this mm-hmm. has again come back on satellite alhamdulillah okay. it's again become an option in okay. fact now we are we are on intelsat 20 okay. intelsat 20 covers the entire asia it goes up to europe it covers okay. the entire africa right okay. up to australia the only Mashallah. regions which where our satellite signal is not going now is not in south america okay. so we're covering about 70 percent of the world population Mashallah. is within our satellite footprint Okay. And uh, anyone who wants to see, it's a free to air channel, 24 hours, okay. anywhere in the world they can do it. Okay. Mashallah, mashallah. So do you now have a business plan to sustain it or will you be dependent still on uh, as of donations? Now, we are, yeah, as of now, we are yet on a 100% donation run channel. 
Okay. Uh, this is a hundred percent donation driven activity as of now. Okay. But we have worked on some models. We are working on some models, and we are yet struggling in the background. Okay. And uh, something we're hoping, which uh, which will may take off in the next few days, uh, learn, learn who's best. The struggle okay. goes on. The planning goes yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the more main priority we've done is to is to sustain the channel. Yeah. And come up with best and newest content on the channel. Ji, uh, mashallah, it. mashallah. Uh, anything that uh, any kind of message that you want to give out to your audience i mean um, i'm sure a lot of people are elated that it's coming back again um do you want to do you have any message for them at all i mean uh, because i know i mean one of the things that even i want to say uh, now that we are talking is um, a lot of people uh, i mean i know for long years uh, as a community um, uh, we want to have our own channels we want to have our own news channels newspapers especially since the kind of misrepresentation that's happening a lot of people actually started realizing this during the lockdown the way the media portrayed uh, muslims as being the carrier and distributors of the corona virus uh, the kind of backlash that the community faced including violent backlash uh, people were moved by it because they were sitting at the comforts of their home they uh, you know they had nothing else to do except to watch television so when they were watching these scenes on television they were getting angry and a lot of people started coming together they started you know telling that we need to have our own voices and everything else but <coughs> in terms of practicality uh, you know not many things actually took off but i know that you know people like you i plus and there are a lot of other news websites as well who have been doing this work for a very long time even before you know the corona virus happened or even before a certain kind of government came in we realized the importance of media for a muslim community but i see that as a community uh, you know most of us actually do not support these initiatives we want to have our own channels we want to have our own newspapers but we do not want to come forward and support it financially or any other way um so what do you have to say about it i mean uh, and what is the message uh, for the uh, you know for the larger community yeah first of all uh, my parting message before the sense is firstly i thank uh, cognate for yeah. this uh, bringing this up alhamdulillah You're welcome yeah Secondly, uh uh for the audiences uh, i want to tell you is when we feel the concern that we need to have a media we need to have a voice is it just going to be wishful thinking or are we going to come down practically to practically doing even if it is a small initiative but sharing uh, the the message even if it is something as small as uh, uh making something reach audiences see right now alhamdulillah i plus tv has come back on satellite Yeah. for us our biggest challenge right now which we're facing right now is to bring the demand across to the cable operators yeah. now as you know cable operators throughout india uh, they work on the carriage fees model mm-hmm. carriage fees model meaning when television channels approach the, the cable operator the cable operator asks for carriage fees yeah but when the viewers ask for the tv channel the cable operators carry the channel without any charges so okay. now for us are this is first first but a difficulty which we are facing the first challenge is to get back into those many homes where we were in december 2019 yeah. so this can happen when if people throughout india we we put in our efforts we put in our phone calls we put in our networks we put in our influence and yeah. we talk to the cable operators then it's not going to take too much time inshallah, inshallah. this is the first thing yeah second thing uh, alhamdulillah we have a wide range of programs and you know uh, how media works today it's not just content it's also marketing yeah. now we know that uh, these big media houses the big, big television channels what what kind of marketing budgets we they have which we we obviously don't have but mm-hmm. we have people we yeah. have people and when they feel concerned the least that they can do is to share a video is to put in put in some positive comment is to put it across now this helps uh, in getting the message across it helps in uh, amplifying the message and this is very important why because many people they feel things happen just automatically we it's us and this tongue which allah has given us this is our media and the yes. prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said balghu anni wala maya pass it on for me even if it is just one verse so you know one verse is pass it on you have some small thing just put it across not everything but at least authentic things which come across you need to we all need to share in so uh, knowing how media works today it's not just a few media houses or a television channel or a printer media working it's people who are joining in with us which yeah. can who can make us amplify this message across and make it reach across to people so this is very important and i encourage everyone to be a part of it to be a part of it mm-hmm. lastly alhamdulillah by allah's grace i plus tv has worked on a variety of uh, different islamic programs right from quran tafsir right from children's programs 
right, from programs for women and uh, programs in uh, hadith and question answers and so on uh, for Islam for non-Muslims and presenting uh, teachings of Islam in uh, for for people and traditional studies and so on. Yeah. So I would I invite people that see seeking knowledge is compulsory for every Muslim. And, and uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, so. ala kulli Muslim." And we need to uh, seek knowledge. And now it's become so easy. It's it's there. Just switch on the television set or just switch on switch on your mobile phone. Or, and just you can access this, Alhamdulillah. So I plus TV is a channel which has really taken care of authenticity. You will sure. find that a, a hadith is quoted by one of our speakers mm -hmm. and the reference will come on the screen. We also make sure that the hadith is being quoted are sahih hadith and authentic hadith and mm -hmm. th this uh, reaches across. So we invite people, come on, take benefit from this, join in. And uh, this is there for us to uh, use. Uh, this is a, a small thing and I also invite everyone that we need to support all these initiatives. Yes. And in whatever way, way you can, whatever way you can, we need to join in and yes. make this uh, uh, last out this time, inshallah. Yeah, and so inshallah. that the benefits stay on and uh, stay on and continue to benefit people. And it's a need which is being fulfilled. Absolutely. Inshallah. So this is the Umar of Khair. Umar of Khair. I mean, we help each other and that's when, uh, you know, uh, we can take uh, projects like I plus and other media channels uh, forward. So inshallah, thank you so much. Jazakallah Khair, uh, Brother Zaid. It was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, I mean, I've been uh, ad uh, admiring your effort for quite a long time, although we've never met in person, like I said. Uh, so, for, um, so inshallah someday. Uh, so for, till then, uh, thank you so much for watching the Remarkable Muslims podcast. By the way, this was our first podcast. I'm so glad glad uh, brothers that uh, agreed to it and uh, do subscribe to our channel we are available on facebook and youtube and we also have a website we've been running uh, the community news for a long time uh, so do check out the cognet.com thank you so much and uh, jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah